So first up, we have two. And after two, we have Lou. Lou. Am I doing all right? This is the difficult group. <laughs> so Lou, if you could make sure that you're mic'd up and ready. Okay. To please welcome to the first of the Vietnamese pitchers. Okay, so judges are ready. Two's ready. Steve's ready. And Pete's ready. Two, go ahead. So, um, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tu, and uh, today I will talk about the early diagnosis of pregnancy for cows. So, the Vietnamese demand for dairy products and beef products is increasing. Uh, we are an agriculture uh, country. Uh, however, we have to import 75% of the dairy products. And one of the reason is low uh, cattle reproduction. And uh, for example, 40% of the insemination is failed. And um, <coughs> uh, the detection of the pregnancy is very, very late. So the conventional method is rectal examination by using the hand uh, in, uh, at 60 days and our stick solution is at 22 days. Oh. So comparison to uh, for two methods, the conventional method takes 10 minutes and it has um, um, required screen vet and uh, also the, has high risk to cause the damage of the rectum. And for the stick solution, uh, we only need one minute and no uh, required for vet and simple and quick and every farmer can uh, easily uh, do it in their farm. And comparing the stick um, uh, supplier, so uh, the competitor have to import it. Uh, so the competitor are imported, so they have to pay a huge money for import tax. So our um, um, so we are cheaper local um, supplier, and by those things, lower price and uh, support from government, so we expect to increase the business value uh, greatly in the next few years. <coughs> Until now, uh, we received two great grants from uh, university and also from government to develop these products. And uh, our current set is a pre-product prototype, and we also have a strong team with three people, including me, and we, we're looking for um, additional staff. And uh, the plan for the next step in um, uh, six months, we will develop the f uh, final products with the partner, and we uh, uh, will trial with about 20,000 stick in the end of this year, and we start to commercialize the uh, uh, product in next year. To uh, do up that, we want to raise the fund around 80 to uh, 100,000 US dollar. So I really uh, hope that we can bring this product to the market and to help the farmer to increase their animal productivities to supply enough um, <coughs> the dairy and beef product to Vietnamese market. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done, too. Well done. Thank you. Okay, get back on that spot. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Judges. Okay, uh, that's very interesting. Um, can I ask, you said about a key partner for stick production. Is that a, a company in Thailand or is that a company, an international company? Yes, um, our key partner is the company to attract the protein to the stick. Mm. It's a company in Vietnam and they produce well, us Vietnam, so in Vietnam. Sorry. Yes, we are Vietnam. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> That's my mistake. <laughs> yes. well, it's Vietnamese company. Yes. Yeah, so if I understand you correctly, um, the technology already exists and your competitors have it. Yes. But it's just expensive to bring into the country. Exactly. Is there anything else specifically about how it's being produced or the technology that's actually within the sticks that makes your innovation novel? Actually, it, uh, the technology is already existed in the, another country, but uh, in Vietnam, we are the first one to produce these products. <coughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. 
So what would stop another company or another university developing very similar solution in Vietnam? Uh, in, in the world or in Vietnam? In Vietnam. No, we are the one. Uh, at the moment, but what would stop somebody else doing it as well? Yes, some university, some um, uh, agricultural university are looking for do that, but it's not easy. The technology is not easy. Yes. Yeah. So would your technology still make sense if the tax benefit were withdrawn? The technology? Uh, would, would your innovation still be financially yes. viable if yes. the tax... Yes. Okay. okay. Right. Two, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> right, that's the first pitch over with from Vietnam. Now, volume up. Okay. I, do, I think that comment of volume up doesn't apply to me. <laughs> 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 But it, but it, <laughs> yeah, it might apply to you guys, okay? So um, please speak up and uh, make sure that we hear about the wonderful innovation. Please welcome Lou. <laughs> okay, now after Lou, Lou. 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 Yes. Got it. Lou. We have Long. Yeah? Good. Okay. So Long will get mic'd up. Lu, go ahead. Okay. Um, hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tati Luang, and now I am the CEO of Cytex Joy Stock Company in Vietnam. And before I talk about my innovation, I have one question for you. Are there anyone here having a problem with stomach disease? Well, my father died because of this disease. I'm not supposed to want to talk about the pain, but it's a big fact in my country right now. 70% of Vietnamese people are at risk of stomach disease, and 26% of Vietnamese people have a real symptom of gastric. It's a big problem in my country right now. And the, there are two normal ways for treatment. The first one is to take antibiotic, but you know that the rate of antibiotic resistance is so high right now. And another way is to take herbal medicine, but you know that it's not convenient for our country, people in my country to use. So that's the reason we come up to the idea of anti sp 4 a health supplement for people with stomach disease. And we try to put more efforts or to re do research to find the com uh, active components in this plant. And the key thing here is that we finger out the formula to compile the component to maximize its effects on the stomach disease. So we use B2B channel to deliver our product to drugstore and we found that in our markets there are 57,000 drugstore uh, in our market and our target is the 5% of this with the value is 10.4 million US dollar. And our business channel is to try, try to uh, model, is to try to build a new brand for uh, help home remedies and, so, and distribution. And another uh, uh, business model is for uh, build the chain, uh, supply chain for raw materials too. So that can help us to make more the social economics distribution benefits for our society. And uh, unlike the other existing product in the market, uh, the key things that makes our products more different is that it can cover the major symptoms of stomach disease at the same time. And here is our development, development plan. In the 2018, we tried to establish our company with three co-founders, uh, apply for patent and uh, some safety regulation, and uh, get more feedback from 200 early adopters. And over the next 18 months, we tried to focus on two things. The first one is sale and marketing, and the second thing is try to build the raw materials area. And uh, our team have a different deficit lean, but um, just to the research, uh, sale and marketing and finance. And that's the reason why we're so confident to be here, to call for 300,000 US dollars for uh, the Nauta business to build and grow herbal uh, material supply chain and stay in marketing. And thank you so much for your listening. Well done. Well done, love. Okay, judges. Okay, you're saying you're applying for a patent. Yes. What, what are the key claims of your patent? 
Well, uh, you know, exactly. Um, we we have a um, a fly for this one, and you mean this who is owner or who is inventor of no, it? What I don't understand is what it is you're patenting. Yeah, uh, we apply for this pattern for uh, the process to produce this uh, kai product from those plants. And uh, right now we have technology to find out the formula to, uh, to compile this component, to maximize its effects. Yeah, and so different from the other existing product on the market. Yes, yes. Um, so you mentioned the competitors. Um, could you give a little bit more detail as to why it is that, s that someone would want your product as opposed to the competitors? Uh, you mean some difference from the uh, competitor? Uh, what, makes what? Your, what makes your product better? Yeah. Oh, well, um, exactly, like, as I said, exactly in, in, in other markets right now, I actually have uh, 20 uh, competitors providing this brand. But their products just cover one or two symptoms of stomach disease. And we have a research and find uh, the formula to maximize uh, the effects of components, active components in spray, so can cover at least three symptoms of stomach disease. So that can make our product different from there. Yeah. Thank you. So you mentioned that you use in, uh, a local plant. Is that the plant that grows in the wild? And if it is, do you know whether you can actually grow it uh, to ensure supply on a larger scale? Um, well, um, so I understand uh, your question. It's, well, in our product, there are two main plants, uh, three main plants. Two of them is the local plant and can be very easy to, to be grown. And, and one is grow in, in, in the forest. So it means that right now to, uh, to take this one, uh, we are inviting them from the people uh, around you know, our local region. And our ambition, as well as um, our mission, we try to be a new plan for remedies, the reputation for our local plan. So we try to run to, to, to build the supply chain for this one. We, can, we want to control the output for producing this. So that can make more the contribution for social and economic, economic benefits. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. <laughs> right, next on to the pink cross is Long. Please welcome Long. Thank you. Okay. Now after Long, we have her. Ha is ready, getting mic'd up. Long, your slides are up. Pete's ready, judges are ready, in your own time. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Long, I'm the founder and CEO of CCS Vietnam. So my organization focus on helping poor people to access clean energy. So you know that there are three billion people still rely on cooking by the solid fuel direct combustion and you see how smoky and how dangerous it is. It kills 3 million people every year. So by the end of my pitch, there will be 18 people, mostly women and girls, die <coughs> because of this problem. So we propose to still use the existing fuel, but in a better way. Gasify it, make the gas out of that, burn it in highly efficient, clean and safe way as a flame you can see on the screen, and at the same time, produce biochar from that process. Every family moved to this way can save and bury to the soil as a fertilizer 60, uh, 600 kilograms of CO2 every year. So our commercial product that we would like to propose is this. So this is first of the kind that can work continuously as a household cook stove. It has a one record of, of thermal efficiency. And for the basic product, the production cost is just seven pounds. So this is our wonderful team, small but dedicated. We work for eight years on this uh, solution. We already have the international and national prizes. And we have IP protection for in Vietnam and also in Denmark. So 
for, the, for maximizing the social impact. We don't want to sell and, and produce directly the product. We want to bring it through the government, through the carbon reduction organization or traders, and through the development organization by helping set, to set up the product service system in the location. And by that way, helping them to produce the good product using our label, using our technology, using our training, our design, our technology. So by that way, we can get the money back from the technology transfer, from labeling, and also from, uh, uh, from the carbon certificate uh, reduction cell. So we can get about 1,400,000 pounds after three years, and we are here asking for 530,000 pounds in that period. So please join us in this wonderful journey to contribute saving millions of life and also saving our planet. Thank you very much. And well done, well done. Just on time, okay, great judges. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, just wanted to ask, what is the actual technology? I didn't quite understand. <laughs> yeah, that's bi biomass gasification. Uh, I intentionally did not put that into the slide because it's too complicated. The way to make it is like this. We create the optimal condition for gasification by having a very high temperature and at the same time insufficient oxygen supply. So uh, in theory, 23% of the oxygen that need to burn completely, it's good. So that's the way. Okay, so it's actual stoves you're making. Yeah, it's generally it's a solution. It's a technology. The stove, it's just embodiment. Okay, I mean, there's, there's quite a lot of small-scale gasification stoves that are on the market at the moment for camping exactly. uses and the like. Um, in, which, in what way is yours different or better or, or more appropriate for the local market? Right. Uh, we are a member of uh, Alien Cookshop, Clean Cookshop. There are 3,000 people in that alliance. We are just one member. So what makes my us different from them. After eight years of working on that, we find out that, okay, people try to make a simple one, large one, because they work in batch. But we try to make very small, working, because in batch, you have to put enough to cook, like at least one hour. For us, it's very small, and it can can consume only in five minutes, but continuously fitting in. So by that way, we can make it very compact and, how to say, uh, compact and create the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the best condition for that. But without losing too much money because we, we don't have, do not have to use too much uh, material. So that is a problem. Classification by mass classification is, is already 19th uh, century te technology, but used for the continuous and big, huge, uh, multi-million dollars uh, factory. But when you make it into the size of seven pounds uh, uh, equipment, it's hugely difficult. But there are some secret that we go for IP, we are not telling you right now. <laughs> okay, but as I understand it though, you can't just use a any old piece of wood, you have to have a special supply of chips or something like that. Uh, that's going to be expensive, isn't it, compared with just getting well, bits of wood? Uh, this, is, this is the cheapest way ever because it can use almost any kind of material with very small pre preparation. So the only thing you need is uh, to chop it and normally Biomass gasification require at least 24% of humidity or less, but we can go for 40%. Yeah, uh, I, I won't tell you the reason why, but uh, this is the way we can do that. And compared to coal, it's half the price. Compared to LPG or diesel oil, it's 20% of the cost.
So it's the cheapest ever. So if you would like to know more, I'm very happy to talk to you later. Uh, on that though, you could have a supply chain. I mean, not everybody will have something for chopping up wood. Exactly. Uh, you know, in, in our uh, country, I already mentioned before, we want to set up the product service system. We have to rely on what people already have in the local location. So there are the industry called uh, wood chopping or wood chip to make sort of pulp and paper. It, we just rely on that technology. Now in each village, we have two or three factory like that. So oh. we just rely on what they have. That's it. We're done. You don't have to answer them anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank well you done. Much. Okay. Next up, please welcome Ha. And if I could ask Nia yeah. to, uh, he's all ready, they're very well trained. Right, so Ha, huh, you're ready, right? Yeah. Slides are ready, our judges are ready, Pete's ready. Ha, huh, please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name Ha. Uh, I'm a researcher. I'm from Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology. Um, uh, as you know, that's now, uh, and we don't mention pollution and uh, chain, uh, climate changing. So now, so, uh, COP M South Road is uh, increasing. Um, now, uh, uh, in Vietnam, there are the, uh, it's a big problem in Vietnam. Uh, every year, we have a few million people who suffer from COP and South Road. To treatment of COP, when you take the antibiotic, you will have many side effects. So now we will prefer to take the product from nature to limit the side effect. Uh, in the markets now in Vietnam, we just have a few the product for, from nature to cop. So uh, it's a reason for us to develop the uh, natural cop medicine. Uh, for uh, working for a long time, about the five years, we found that uh, this plant has a very, very strong activity, uh, including four activity anti-inflammatory, reduce cough, reduce pain, and reduce phlegm. So we do extraction and uh, we do the formulation for the final product. Um, on continue, we do the clinical trial for about uh, 300 people um, suffer from cough and sore throat. And 75% of these people become uh, to stop uh, cough very quickly. And uh, they don't need to use the antibiotic and uh, no side effect. For the price, uh, our product is cheaper, about 25% than the other. Um, for, um, for my research, I, I, um, I have a IP for the extraction and uh, um, extraction of active compound from this plant. And um, we have an experienced team research and we have a final product. Uh, so now uh, I'm beginner for business, so I learned the business model canvas here, and I know the, my customer is the people with cop and uh, low middle and uh, average mid uh, income people. Uh, we will take the re uh, revenue from the sale product for the pharmacy, um, and uh, in the future, I think the. Uh, I will uh, need the uh, investment for the marketing research and master production uh, for the next uh, 12 months. I will need uh, um, some business uh, uh, partner or sale partner to help me to uh, conversation, of, um, conversation of my product. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Well done. Well done, huh? thank, thank you very much. Um, you showed a plant which I didn't recognize, yeah. but the, um, what is your intellectual property in that? You, you, you showed a slide too of intellectual property. Is, is that a patent or what is it? Well, this is a plant, oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you said that there's some intellectual property in this ah. process. That, yeah. uh, yes. Um, what is it? Yeah, uh, it's the patient for the uh, extraction new active compound with new high uh, biological activity from this plant, and we have a patient in Vietnam. Yeah. Okay, so just to clarify, so it's the way you extract. 
the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the whatever it is, key ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not meant to ask another question, but I've had chi when I've been in China, I've had things like this, but they've been huge tablets. H how big are these tablets? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I take the, uh, the solvent, it's uh, ethanol or uh, water to take the uh, active compound, and we use some uh, skin to uh, isolate the compound. Yeah, thank you. Um, on what basis are you assured that your product works? Uh, how do you know your product works, I suppose? Yeah, because uh, now we, ha we have a final product and we do the clinical trial for 300 people. That's a very uh, a first step to, to test on clinical trial. Yeah, and we know the, about the benefit of my product. Yeah. So what is the actual effect? Is what is the mechanism? Is is it replacing kind of cough syrup, or is it actually tr treating some sort of infection? Yeah. Uh, now uh, we just have a uh, um, product in capsule for uh, for for the people. But I think the liquid is very important. So I, I am developed for the liquid, so it can use for children. It's better. Yeah. So it's actually stops the coughing. Yeah, so it's a yeah. stop, stop yeah. cup and sort it out. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Thank Huff. You. <coughs> Next up, Nia. Yeah. Please welcome yeah. Nia. <laughs> so after Nia, we have Jung. Jung's getting ready to be mic'd up. Okay, so we have your slides, we have our timer, we have our judges in your own time. Hi everyone, my name is Nguyen Chingye from Hanoi University of Science and Technology. First, I want to ask you a question. What kind of gasoline do you use for your own car every day? Normally now, you cannot use the normal gasoline. You must use the E5 or the E10. The biofuel is more friendly for environment that I want to talk about today. Now, the Vietnamese uh, biotechnology plants use conventional methods for their production that cost a lot of energy and investment. And also they release a lot of waste into the environment and with very low value. So here, what we bring to them, first, an advanced technology to retrofit their conventional method by combining three production pro uh, steps into just one. And this could help and the uh, average biotechnology plants save about 500,000 US dollars per year. And also we offer a second technology to create more value from the waste by creating the high value feed product. And this could uh, increase the revenue for about 700,000 US dollars per year. To summarize, if a biotechnology plants apply our technology, they could save of about 1.2 million US dollars per year. And also this technology has some social impact by reducing the import of the animal feed products from the road, and also reduce uh, waste from the, uh, to the uh, environment. So, about the market in Vietnam, from 2018, the government forced people to use only the E5 gasoline. So, the, uh, the market grow uh, about 5% per year in the next over 20, uh, 10 years. And uh, now there's uh, 15 bioethanol plants in Vietnam share market about 550 million US dollars. And uh, this is very interesting for the investment. And what we do have, we have a very strong research team with over 15 years of research. And we are the only research team in Vietnam working on this technology. And uh, we also have prototype, we have useful, useful solution, a kind of uh, pattern in Vietnam, and we have back from the government. So uh, in the short term, we'd like uh, to apply our technology to the pilot scale. And in the medium term, we would like to license our technology to Vietnamese biotechnology plants. And after that, maybe an exportation to other uh, countries in Southeast Asia. And what we ask here, we ask for let's use uh, the, uh, for about 300,000 US dollars uh, to develop our technology for the first licensing. It is to scale up the technology from pilot to the industrial scale and to optimize this technology at industrial scale. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, well done. Okay, judges. 
So just could you talk a little bit more about uh, the waste product yeah. and how it's used for feed and how uh, your technology improves that product uh, as a potential feed? Yeah. Uh, actually, in Vietnam, this waste is, uh, sell, uh, is a wet waste. is sold directly to, uh, to the small farm around the, the plant. And uh, because it's wet, it's uh, difficult to, to preserve it. And in our technology, we try to convert them to a, a dry, uh, dry waste with a high value, high quality, uh, high, high, high concentration of protein, of fiber. It's good for animals. And uh, it's, uh, it could have uh, it extends the preservation time, and uh, it's better with high high good price. Um, what aspect of your proposition are you actually selling? Are you selling equipment, or are you selling a license for someone else to build the equipment and use your technology? Uh, which one, I suppose? Yeah, in fact, uh, we expect to to, uh, to license our technology. To, uh, to bioethanol plants, meaning that we, we show, uh, show them this technology. They need uh, to just uh, invest a, a bit money investment for installations, uh, just a few uh, machinery. And uh, after that, they could save money for, from their production. So does that mean that you are going to make the machinery and sell it to uh, them? No, we, we would not make the machinery. We only make the, the process we optimize the production process. As a machinery, we will ask other partner to come in, yeah. My, my experience of processes like this is it's best to give the license straight away mm. and develop the technology on industrial plant. Yeah. You've got four plant, I think it said four. Uh, 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 we, we wish for about four to 10 plants yeah. in the million terms. So, so why aren't you going straight to them and saying, can we install the technology on your plant, rather than asking for 300,000. Yeah. Because it's always dangerous developing things in a laboratory and then mm -hmm. taking it across. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, before we, we, we successfully licensed another uh, technology for ethanol production to, uh, to, a, sm uh, to a smaller uh, plant, and uh, they, uh, they, they save uh, for about 80,000 US dollars per year thanks to our production. And, uh, and uh, this te uh, technology is based from the ancient technology. So we just improve it, and, uh, and we, we also have a reference for uh, our uh, previous technology. And uh, after that, why we ask only for 300,000 US dollars? Because uh, we need to also to, to access to the biotechnology plant in Vietnam. We need government back, so we need a, a government grant a part of this, and uh, a part, uh, the other part is from the plan. So after the first licensing, we could sell them more easier to other uh, plan. Okay. Nia, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Nia, Nia, hold on. Did you did you go to Stonehenge? Did I see a picture yeah. of Stonehenge? Yeah. You know these I these fellows it. went everywhere at the weekend: Glasgow, Durham, Bath. Leeds, Paris, Oxford. You didn't come to Bicester, did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so next up we have Chong. Please welcome Chong. <laughs> and after Chong, we have Ang, who's getting mic'd up now. So, Chong, you have something for us. Yes. Something later, for the judges. I put it okay. Here to so, Pete's ready, Chung's ready, in your own time. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Chung. I come from uh, Vietnam Mutual Medicine and Pharmacy Institute. Our uh, institute is a private one and we help people in the uh, mountainous region to uh, produce Yakon. So, what is Yakon? It's uh, originally from uh, South America, uh, it's been there for thousands of years and a very good use. Uh, and uh, recently, uh, in, be introduced in Vietnam for the last few years, and uh, the root of yao corn can be very beneficial to our health. We can eat raw, uh, cook as food, and uh, we can store it in powder or mix it up a bit, and the leaf can be made as tea. So uh, everyone here, we are all like, uh, aware of the um, chronic disease and metabolism disease problems. So, yakon root 
with its uh, nutritional and medicine value, can help to prevent uh, diabetes, uh, to regulate uh, blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol level, and to help to lose weight, improve digestion, and even prevent cancer. So uh, we, last year we produced about 150 tons, it's a very small quantity, and we try to uh, expand our business to target 2,000 uh, suppliers in a hotel, restaurant, um, supermarket, and make more retailers, and uh, which uh, the market value uh, is up about 1.5 million US dollars if we can provide about 1,000 tons per year. So we try to set up the supplier network and uh, for New York on brand and fund more farming expansion to uh, enable like uh, uh, product in the country and export. So I'm here today uh, to look for raising investment of uh, 350,000 US dollars so we can set up company uh, through marketing, branding, and try to uh, set up uh, B2B business and uh, more logistic and retailers and applying technology for food processing. So uh, we try to have an impact to raise awareness of the new Yakon product. They are good for health, improve social security and income for the people who are involved in the project, and uh, to have major impact on food uh, market, nutrition markets, and we can provide information for scientists to have uh, apply in life science. And uh, most of all, we have good product for health to supply in domestic and international market. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Chung. Yeah, so uh, I have some here so uh, I can show you. This looks like a sweet potato, but uh, in fact inside it tastes like uh, apple or peach. And uh, yeah, so. Don't start the questioning yet, Pete. Yeah, I just. Uh, have you got enough for us all there, Chung? Yeah, this is not a uh, good uh, piece uh, because uh, I brought here, like, it's two weeks already, so it's not that uh, well. Uh, this is bribery. <laughs> yeah. So I, I want to help you to have a test, a small test. I'm telling you, it's delicious, and it made me feel a lot better. Sorry. Thank, Thank you very much. Sure, you get this. <laughs> I'm very clumsy. You, Sorry. Very yeah. <laughs> See, you all look now 10 years younger. Yeah, yeah you, you eat a lot of this, and it helps you to be younger, for sure. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very much. I'll eat it in a moment. <laughs> well done, Chung. Well done. <laughs> yeah, can, can I ask... Sorry, is this on? Uh, can, can I ask what your what you bring to this, because presumably this is available for anybody to grow it. Why, what, what is special about what you're doing? Yeah, because uh, I work in the field of uh, healthcare and uh, traditional medicine or natural medicine for the last 10 years. And I see the benefits of how you eat naturally or how you use a natural product. And it's bring you very good benefits for your health. You ha don't have to worry about sickness. You don't have to be, be worried about spending money on like, difficult diseases. Mm. You avoid all this, and you become healthier and look younger. So why not? Yeah, but, but, but what, is, what is it that you bring to this? Yeah, just a, yeah I, I, I mean, bring it here. Just yeah, simple like this. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. But, but I mean, presumably people can buy the seed and just do it without you. Yeah, yeah of course. Mm. Uh, the project was introduced to Vietnam like about like a... Uh, 2012, but nobody worked with it. Even it's very good, but nobody found out that it's, it's really good. Nobody talks about it. So I want to try to uh, bring up the, the issue so that we people know about the product and about the, its benefits. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yes, very nice indeed. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think this is a continuation of the, the, um, the question before is that. Why would a farmer want to plant this? Is there something about marginal land use or reduced water consumption? Uh, we can go up to the, the first uh, here. The point, I just look at the Google map, and that's just a tiny point that our project site is. And it's uh, in high mountainous area up uh, above uh, 2,000 meters. 
there's a lot of land and there's no worry about the land, but uh, there's no, not enough workforce. Like, uh, and uh, people in the uh, mountainous area, they don't have money. So we have to supply everything, even food, for them to work on the project so that they can return with the products later. So is it a case of that um, they can't grow anything else there, or are there some other reasons why mm, yeah, this, it, this... Actually, they can grow uh, corns and, and, and some rice, but the productivity is not that high, and not presume, enough yet. And I presume this is a much higher value product. That's right. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, so you are planning to set up a company and you're looking for investment. So how are you gonna ge going to generate revenues, income from your business? Uh, your yeah, actually, yeah, we, we try to sell on our own and uh, from the directly from our side to the customer directly and by uh, online orders only or by, oh. yeah, we have farm uh, and we would like to, it's about seven hectares or 70,000 uh, square meters. So we would like to, if we can you know, sign up with more businesses and we can expand the farming land yeah, and activities. You want to okay. Well done. Chung, thank you very much. Thank Fantastic. You. Okay, so next up we have Ang. Please welcome Ang to the stage. I'm coming. Okay. Well, don't worry about that. All right, okay, we're not going to worry about that. Um, there's the pink okay. cross. There's your uh, slide changer. And after Ang, we have An. Okay, you ready, sir? You'll get mic'd up. And so, Ang, Pete's ready. Josh is ready in your own time. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, in this uh, the screen, you uh, remember the, the Grandfell Tower in London in uh, 2017. So, many people died, many people in, in hospital, and many, many access their choice. So, the people need something uh, better than the smoke detector. It can, uh, uh, it can detect the fire sooner and it can uh, inform to everybody to the same time. That's the re reason why the fire watch has, uh, has been born. So here is the difference from the fire watch and the smoke detector and flame detector. Uh, it's just um, uh, spend uh, five seconds to detect the fire, and uh, uh, five seconds next to inform to everyone. So here is uh, the solution. The fire was um, uh, sent to a ringing uh, signal to the local and uh, send the signal via internet of thing to the people come to the smartphone. And the, the market of uh, this device is the warehouse in industry and the apartment in the um, consumer. Um, so in Vietnam, uh, Vietnam is a developing country, so the building uh, so, so much. So <clears throat> just only two large construction companies to build uh, a half a million apartments in the next five years. So uh, they want to something, they want to a device to better than the smoke device. My, uh, my company, Vietnam Automation Limited Estimate, in the 2008, had exciting uh, product for the railway system uh, and building management and smart home system and serve uh, over a half a million US. <clears throat> Using uh, uh, our sector knowledge, we have uh, invested to develop a working uh, prototype of the firewall deliver and solution for market design. That is the manufacturing price and the sale price. Uh, this only needs uh, two, uh, uh, um, two, uh, 200,000 uh, US dollars with to build um, the marketing, uh, marketing team and the service team 
and uh, to the dark right of uh, 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 the EVI. And the next year, the uh, company automatic to grow up. That is, and uh, thank you. Perfect timing, Ang. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. So I wanted to find out a little bit more about the technology that you have within your sensor. Are there new sensor technologies or are you using existing technologies and the innovation that, that it's smart and it sends a signal to your phone? Yes. The, the key technology here is a thermal, a thermal sensor. Thermal sensor is the same principle with the thermal camera. But the thermal camera is very, very expensive. It's about um, 10 or 12,000 um, dollars. But my, um, my product is just only one, or maybe a half a uh, thousand. So um, uh, this technology is only used in the military before. So in that time, they go to the consumer. So is the intention that the fire service would be called, or uh, how, how, does, how does it work in terms of having sensed the fire, how does it dealing work? with it? How does it work? Sorry. Um, how, how does it hasten the route to putting the fire out? To putting the fire out. Uh, the principle of the sensor, do you, do you want to know? Uh, no, it's, it's more about the process, how by identifying the fire early, uh, how is it that you, you plan to use that information to make sure the fire is put out more quickly? Uh, yes, because uh, it detects very fast the infrac, the wavelength of the infrac. So, and this processing and send, send to cloud, and the cloud sent to the, the smartphone. That is the IoT system. So do you actually make the detector, or is it an existing... Um, the sensor. The, yeah, the sensor. Do, do you actually f make, manufacture it, or is it an existing product? Uh, um, the um, sensor comes from uh, come, uh, Germany. I just uh, only to develop the PCB and the software mm -hmm. and the, all the uh, anything. So it's the, the software. software um, and the hardware, yeah. just only by... Um, sensor from Germany or the, and from okay. America. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ang. <laughs> right, so next up we have Ang. After Ang, we have Tang. Okay, Tang's mic'd up. Right, so, Ang, you ready? Yes. Slides are ready. Judges are ready. Pete's ready. In your own time. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anh Võ. I'm from Vietnam. I'm a lecturer in Nông Lâm University and have, I have been teaching pharmacology for veterinarian students in about 20 years. And I also have experience in consulting and uh, selling some products to the farm. So the product today I bring to you relating to herbal medicine to treat diarrhea for the piglets. Uh, so in the graph, you can see Vietnam is one of the large uh, pork producer in the world. And Vietnamese uh, farmer use a lot of antibiotic in the production line. It go up to six to eight times higher than in the developed countries. So. Uh, Abuse in antibiotic use lead to antibiotic resistance, a big problem today. And therefore, Vietnamese government uh, contribute to release some legal document to decrease antibiotic use in pig production. So in the new situation, we need an, a new solution for farmer. So antibiotic alternative. Therefore, we, after two years of doing research, we are very happy to bring the stop cure to the farmers. The product is uh, from guava extract origins and is easy to use as a drinking uh, solution for piglets. And the product is already clinical tested. The uh, 
they prove to have the same efficacy as antibiotics. And the distinguished property of the product is from its uh, organic origins and it have less side effect for pig, human, and also environment. So using it means you save antibiotics for future. Uh, I would like to have uh, expectation and we tend to do the licensing. With the stock boy in Vietnam market only, we have uh, 28 million pigs and the organic medium and export farm is our target. We will uh, try to reduce 1,500 units for the first year and the market can go bigger if we can bring to Asian region and also worldwide. So um, let me give you a snapshot of our achievement. We are in uh, very early and the technology is uh, license ready. So we need funding for registration, uh, IP, and we also need the partner as a distributor or the <coughs> consultant to do the IP. So uh, do you know that the antibiotic resistance costs up to 10 million people die uh, by 2050? Yeah, so we are working to avoid it. Please help us. Thanks so much for your attention. Perfect. Well done, Anne. Well done. Timing continues to be impeccable. Judges. I think they're frightened. Uh, um, can, can I ask in this, uh, I assume guava grows naturally in Vietnam. Um, what is it that you're going to um, get intellectual property protection for? What, what is specific in yeah. your process? So uh, we use guava leaf uh, as a byproduct, but the process to extract it and to formulate into the final product is the property. That's we would like to uh, protect. Okay, it's noteworthy that you deal with, your product deals with diarrhea. Is that the only ailment that um, antibiotics are used for in pigs? Yeah, um, so in the new situation uh, of antibiotic reduce the uh, decrease, so uh, there are several solutions, for example, the enzyme, the herbal medicine, the oil extract, and uh, we have the one of the solution, that's the herbal extract. So not only antibiotic, but another alternative can, can be our competitors. That, is it that what you, uh, you mean? Yes, sorry, my point was, are antibiotics not used for more than treating diarrhea? Yeah, therefore... that's also a point. It's very promising that antibiotic in Vietnam, they use a lot for preventing methods. That's why I put in my uh, later research that we can use an alternative treatment, so the market bigger. But we don't have the data yet. So thank you. And you've mentioned that obviously the uh, use of antibiotics is quite low in uh, various countries. So what alternatives do you, they use in those other countries? Okay. So you mean in the developed country? Yeah. Uh, I know they pay very much attention to the biosecurity. And uh, to reduce antibiotic use, we have many methods about, I think, the least 10 very applicable ones. And one of that, they also use um, the alternative, the herbal medicine. For example, I understand in uh, in US, they have a Reventi, a Reventi solution, a little bit similar with us, but they use for controlling the stress periods for the piglets. So prevent, prevention uh, solution. Thank you. Okay. Well done. <laughs> and thank you. There's a tag team going on now with the Vietnamese pitchers. Please welcome Tang. Yes, it's great. Okay. So. Okay, Tang, you ready for the world? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's your slide changer. Pete's ready. Yes. Judges are ready. Ready. In your own time. Slides are ready. Yes. We have. 
We have a bit of an IT issue. That's all right. We don't mind, do we? Not, not Let's have, I haven't got any jokes. Oh. <laughs> have you got any jokes, Tang? <laughs> any Vietnamese jokes for us? I don't know exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's not on the script, obviously, but, you know. It's yeah, just we were. Okay. Yes. So, looks like we have a bit of action now. A bit of document recovery. <laughs> we don't, right, yeah. Yeah, okay, so here we go. So, um, this is being streamed live across the world, right? Yes. So, they asked me... Um, yeah, because I'm a bit of a... Do you like dancing? Because basically, you like flossing, right? But no problem. Just, you ever seen an English some man floss? Just some bitter inside. Oh. Come on, Steve, get me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We were nearly there. We nearly saw the flossing. Yeah. Another time. Okay. Okay, Pete, you ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay, Ang, please go ahead. Tang. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Gong Than from the Vietnam National University in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm a control engineer, but today my story is about the uh, medical device with the back pain treatment machine. Can you imagine that? The back pain is called the disability worldwide. It's number one, and also in the whole study, 80% uh, the population will be get the at least first time, uh, at least one time in their life for the back pains. But of course, in order to treat the back pain, uh, the non-surgical method here is spine decompression therapy. That therapy they help you to a little bit apply force to stretch the sp uh, the spine and it helped the, the disc uh, more uh, loud to do the pressure in the disc and help the body have a natural healing process. And so the problem here, how can to apply force to spine is so it's very difficult and very dangerous for the patient. And you can take a look a little bit about the graph. And the graph here that show the therapy exercise for the patient. And so we need to accurate for control. We need also high frequency therapy exercise. We also need to high vibration frog and high frequency. And of course, we need to comply with the patient and the safety. And all the requirements here are both in my products. Here is my prototype, working prototype in my uh, laboratory. And, and uh, it takes three key technology here. At first, we apply the Pneumatic muscle actuator. The second one, we apply the artificial intelligence controller. And the last, we enable for the doctor to customize any kind and any effective therapy exercise for the patient. And it's suitable for, for the physical condition of the patient. Uh, using the 20 year the research on the control engine, I also uh, found the pattern in the pattern pending in the US and also the Breathe the cleanest test in the hospital. And the benefit here to enable for various the effective the therapy exercise. And the second one accelerate the relieve the pain. Next, it comfortable uh, compatible with the most uh, patent with the diff very difficult condi uh, physical condition of the patient. And of, of course, it's safe and compliant and 10 times cheaper. My next step is I need to find the partner to grow, and especially the licensing, especially make medical company in the US. And after that, I need to get a clinical trial in order to get the approval from the government, and I hope to license it in the near future. Let's contribute the, our better line. Thank you. Done, Tang. Well done, again. Right on time. Okay, judges. So I uh, would like to find out, have you tested this product and how effective it is in kind of the, the ph for use in physiotherapy? Yeah. At first, we need to follow the recommend of the therapist so far. We need to design the graph for graph to treatment for the patient. And in order to check, we need to check how about the uh, product in the lab prop in the laboratory first. We need to check how about the exact the fork control to apply. 
maybe a back some slide and we'll show you for example uh, here in the, this slide we need to the blue line is the reference fox control needs to apply and the red line is the uh, real fox from the sensor uh, and uh, of course uh, I just pre pretend with the, uh, some the uh, patient in the hospital and uh, with the help of the doctor, uh, people said, okay, some people is uh, good for test with the deep machine, another guy is not good, and we need to track. And of course, in the near future, I need to test more and more with the, some the MRI, a CT scanner, and other check how about the quickly really band of the patient. Thank you. So what is the product that you're actually selling? Uh, my product is just a working prototype. And I intend to sell my just my uh, license. Sell the I my business. I love to sell the li license. That means I sell the, my innovation only. Yeah. Okay, well, I wish I'd known you a few years ago, but I, yeah. I've had oh, my back right. screwed ah, okay, up already, okay. so I, I'm a bit late. Yeah. What I don't understand in this is, okay, is it a one-off treatment, or is it a treatment that has to have several sessions? Uh, I mean, I, I've had, when I have back pain, I'm, I can take something to relieve myself, but it doesn't last very long. Yeah, yeah, correct, sir. So is this a one-off, or is it something that you have to have? No, normally, uh, we need to take, how about your, uh, how about the pain? And of course, in some case, people I, I just, uh, just uh, breathe, but we need to, no need to use the machine. But in some case, people have some problem with the back pain, and we need to more and more effective the treatment method, especially in here, in non-surgical method with the uh, uh, spine uh, a little bit stress, in order to uh, uh, help your body to natural healing process, in order to make it more quickly really bad. So, so this requires repeat treatments, then? Yeah. Do, do, do the patients have to come in several times into the hospital for the treatment? Yes, already. Touch, uh, as, uh, this is my device also sent to the hospital in order to take a little test with the patient. Okay, thank yeah, you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Tang, thank you very much. Well done. Oh, thank you very much. Right now, I think with all the excitement of me, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. Um, <laughs> I didn't even announce who was next, but you're also organised. Knock, right? Knock, please come onto the stage. Welcome, Knock. <laughs> okay, and after Knock, we have Tong. Tong's ready. Everybody's ready. You're ready? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Josie's are ready. Pete's ready in your own time. Hello, my name is Ngoc. I'm from Neo Capsule, uh, Nha Trang University of Vietnam. And my background is food technology. And this is Ling, my daughter. And like other children, she loves fast food. She loves the desert, sweet desert. And it links to a risk of food safety and disease like diabetes. But it's not easy to convince her not to eat this food. So, and we are not the only family in Vietnam that faced this challenge. So that's why we need more and more new healthy products for our kids. And so that's why Neo Capsule was born. And we are gonna to create a range of new natural food. But now, today, I present to you our first lunch, the Gut Enriched Instant Pudding. So this is a pudding uh, without food additive, totally natural, simple to use, but always yummy to the children. And you will get many benefits of this, fruit, uh, this pudding because it is the healthy and uh, parents' time saving. So how could we do this? We use gut fruit and encapsulation technology. So gut fruit, may you, not know, you may not know that it is a traditional fruit in Vietnam and it's abundant, uh, easy to plant, contain many precious elements to life uh, like lycopene and beta carotene. Uh, but this goodness will last when you cook it. So we apply the encapsulation technology to protect all of this goodness and put it into our pudding. And you have a pudding ready to use. Our target market is the children under 10 years old. And if you know that Vietnam is a country of a growing population, you will know that the opportunity of the market is relevant. So we have started the project in 2012, 
And through four years, we have been funded by the government of Vietnam to the final product. And now what we want to do now is to do market research to understand the competition and to price the, the product, do IP to protect the key technology, and production pilot to ensure the quality of the product, and also the customer sampling to get feedback before launch sales into the market. And we are asking for a total investment about the $14,000. So, do you want to join with us in the journey to, to help our children healthier and happier? So come with us and we can talk together. Thank you. Well done, Knox. Okay, judges. Yes. Um, one problem in this country is the labelling of the product that's the real issue, if not. Uh, but can I go back? You had a number of collaborators on that slide, like NUS and, and Monash. What, what part of this process is unique to you? Yes, down here. Uh, what part is unique to what you're doing? Uh, this is the collaboration that we, call, we established during the project from the 2012 to till now. And the most important is the bioencapsulation research group. Right. That's, group. Yeah, that we are in the group. Yeah. And uh, we are uh, having a project with the National University of Singapore, but this is not the, uh, this product, but in the uh, aquaculture. I see. Yeah. So is the expectation that you would replace sugar within heavily sugared um, foodstuffs, or is this to be eaten on its own? On its own? Uh, we use the, the, the gug and we transform it to powder, uh, and we put it in uh, pudding with uh, our own formulation. Yeah. Um, you've mentioned that you use encapsulation technology. Is that technology something that you invented and patented, uh, and is food safe? Yes. Encapsulation technology is around of you. You can find it in your home. But, yeah. uh, but in food technology, uh, it is now the trend to use encapsulation. And uh, of course, uh, uh, in food, we will use the ingredient, the safe food, uh, safe, uh, safety ingredients for food. And uh, what about uh, another I just question? Want to know about the encapsulation. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, and also on what basis is it more healthy? than the sugar that it replaces. Ah, okay. So uh, the health impact here is that we put into the pudding the precious element from the gut fruit, like lycopene, uh, beta carotene, so anti-cancer and anti-aging. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, Vietnamese, can I just check I haven't missed out An? We did Ang and we uh. did An. <coughs> We've done you, haven't we? Yeah, and I thought we had. We're okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, but we needed to check. Right, okay. You ready, Tong? Yeah. Come onto the stage. <laughs> Please welcome Tong. <laughs> okay, right, so. After Tong, we have Pham. And so, Tong, you're ready? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Our judges are ready. Pete's ready in your own time. So, good uh, afternoon, everyone. My name is Tong from Vietnam. And I'm here today for the meeting involved with the agricultural sectors. So, Vietnam, uh, in recent years, Vietnamese uh, farmers have uh, faced lots of problems involved with the redundancies of the agricultural products. And as we look at the markets, the export value just for the vegetable and the fruits is about 4 billion US dollar. But 40% of the boss harvest is normally damaged or wasted. So the market is huge, but it still uh, need an important, uh, very important to have a good growing uh, system for agricultural products. So now, nowadays in Vietnam, uh, there are two traditional methods for drying. The first one, we use direct solar radiation, and the second one, just the electric heaters. 
but both of those methods have many disadvantages, especially with the low quality of the products. It, it means that the, the, the percentage of the vitamin and the mineral is decreased with the high temperature. So those methods are just suitable for the low value products for export. Now our solution uh, is to integrate the heat pump technology inside the Ryan system. And our prototype show that uh, we can maintain, we can keep a good quality of the products with uh, low temperatures. So another interesting thing is it's not yet uh, available, this technology in Vietnam. Uh, our business model is focused on uh, to design, manufacture, and sales. And uh, the market is Vietnam. The main customer is the food processing factories. So in order to reduce, to minimize the cost of the production, we, we have the plan to buy parts from other industry and uh, just assembly in our company. For the team and the partners now, we, are, we have two scientists, uh, four engineers, and uh, another three partners industri from industrial factories. But we are still planning to look for a new and a good CEO who can lead the team. And from now to the end of this year and uh, so far, uh, with the, this CEO, we are planning to ask the funding of about 400, 400 key US the, uh, dollar for, and we will use this money for further testing, for like the, uh, uh, develop the teams and uh, something else. So if you are interested in our project, just come to see me and we will have a talk. Thank you so much. That's great. Okay, judges. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your presentation. You've mentioned that this technology does not exist in Vietnam. Does a similar technology exist in other countries? Yeah, sure. This technology is not uh, something very new of high technology. This one is existing now in other countries, but in Vietnam it's not yet. So it's, it's not like the, for the licensing or for the Python, but it's for the commercialized something new. Can you import it from abroad into Vietnam, from other countries? Uh, yeah, there are, there are some company now. I know that they have in, intended to buy to buy the, those products from other countries and sell that in Vietnam. But the, the problem is, if they do that, the first thing is the, the cost, the price is higher than ours. And the second one is, we, we design by the requirements of the customer. For example, for the, the, uh, another pro processing uh, factories, the capacity is different. So dependent on that requirement, we will design, we will, uh, we will buy lots of things, we assemble, and after that, we install at that factory. Yeah. Um, is there an appetite in the f for the food dryers to actually incorporate something as technically complex and with the potential for failure as a heat pump? Uh, with the heat pump, the, um, yeah, it's the, the technology inside is like we, we can, we can uh, remove the water weekly. We, at first step, is like uh, condense the water, remove that, and after that, heat up by another heating coil. So this one, the technology is the same like a uh, refrigeration cycle. Yeah. But uh, just like we put together and lots of the factory now, it, in Vietnam, normally, it, they just do that, they just do the simple thing. So they, they, they just provide the electrical heaters not with this technology, they don't understand much about the knowledge. So it's the domain I think we can enter the market. Yeah. Sorry, the question I was gonna carry on with then yeah. is do you offer a service where you can actually maintain it so that you can allay some of the fears of the farmer that they're just gonna buy this piece of kit that might fail um, and they won't know what to do with it? I think for the farmers, not only in Vietnam, the, the farmers, they, they, they don't want to ride by themselves. Not only they just uh, want to buy the raw materials for other uh, industry. And in other industry, they, 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 <coughs> they, they will provide the equipment for riding, for processing, yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, I guess you had a slide there showing watermelons. You wouldn't be putting watermelons into this kit. What is the size of the actual market within Vietnam for whatever dried fruits or whatever you're doing? Because in the end, it's far cheaper to leave something, even if it is not sanitary, out in the sunshine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, if, because now lots of people do that, just put on the sunshine. Uh, the market of Vietnam is huge, and 
the, now we need a lot, now we need to improve the quality because now from Vietnam, we just uh, uh, do the export, but with the very low value of the products, agricultural products. Mm -hmm. So now the trend in the future, we need to improve the quality. And this technology is one of the things we can control the quality, we can control uh, something like the, the, the vitamins, the mineral and other things inside the products. And with the sanitary too, because the other things, they use the cycle of the air from the outside, so they affect from the atmosphere outside. So they're using the whole day. Yeah, with this one is the closed cycle. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, judges. <laughs> Tong, thank you. Okay, fam, come along, come on. Come on, sit please welcome fam. I have some sample. Here. Oh, Fam's got something for you. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you don't need to, to eat it. Right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Now, after so Fam, person. we have Yen. Yes, Yen. And do you know what? Yen is our final Vietnamese pitcher. Oh, how exciting. Right. <coughs> so, Fam, you ready? Your slides are ready. Pete's ready. Over to you. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Pham Chung Kien from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. So I want to start my presentation with one question. Do your families have the kids, elderly people, or the working people? If the answer is yes, so your family may fight with the potential problem in the bone disease. So the kids and elderly people, they have the tendency with bone because less absorption of calcium phosphate material. The working people can sometimes have unexpected accident that give the broken bone, and the cost for bone treatment is very high. So my solution is calcium phosphate material that's for bone care and bone repair. So this material, we aim for to improve the quality of life. Material can be used in the meal supplement and food supplement. Also, we aim to develop for the next step for dental treatment as well as for the orthopedic treatment. So this material, as I show you on the sample here, we can control the particle size from one particle to the renew. And due to our exclusive technology, the morphology of our product is similar with the natural bond on the right and left picture. So compared with existing calcium phosphate material product on the market, so my material we can use in the food and meal supplement, in dental treatment, also in orthopedic treatment. And due to exclusive technology, we can offer the lower cost compared with the other product with the same quality. So the market of calcium phosphate material in Vietnam is very huge. And with the production price around 100 US dollar per kg, we can save up to 500 US dollar per kg or up to 30,000 US dollar per kg for the brand new firm. So the advantage of my products is we are the same quality and morphology is similar with the natural bond, and we are the pioneer of calcium for fat material, and we can offer the lower cost compared with the other product. So we want to ask that we want to transfer the technology to the calcium phosphate manufacturer, also to enter the Vietnam and Asian early stack market. So we ask for the first writing around one million US dollar to commercialize the early such product. So the team including me in the biomaterial engineering, also uh, professor from material, and one dentist doctor also got the BD degree in biomaterial, and with the business advisor, Dr. Jan Thompson. So this product can contribute to the social economics of Vietnam because we can offer very low price. So we contribute to the middle and low income people. We reduce the purchase on the national insurance health. Also, we create more jobs for people in Vietnam. So this is my contact information. I hope that everyone can support me to contribute to the economy and social. Thank you very much. Well done. Perfect timing. OK, judges. Um, you, you, you say your production technique is a low temperature technique as opposed to normal calcification uh, and system. D uh, do the raw, do the raw um, not raw products, the, the, the raw materials, do, do, are they in Vietnam already or do you have to import those? Ah, this is a very good question <coughs> and this is the tackiest question. In Vietnam, we almost import it from overseas, like from US, 
from UK, from Europe, from Japan, because we don't know produce this yet. So this is high value for the production. So in my technology, we can produce in Vietnam with very low cost. So this is our advantage. But you already have the raw materials in Vietnam? Yes. Okay. Um, what is it your intention to sell? What's your business model? Are you a factory that produces and sells uh, the product, or are you selling the technology to someone else? Mm. To make I don't the sell the product. I, sell, I license my technology to the calcium phosphate manufacturer. Because to sell the product, this is the big, the big story. I cannot do it alone with my team. So I'm the researcher. So I just have some technology exclusions. And we reduce at the low temperature. So that's why the cost is reduced compared with the other competitive product. So we want to transfer this technology to the calcium phosphate material. So um, you talked a little bit about your technology. Is it novel or are similar technologies exist in other countries? I think this is the novel technology because you know that the other product from other companies, they get calcium phosphate at high temperature. But remember, our bone is forming at the low temperature, 37 degrees for nine months. So my technology, it might miss the formation of the bone. So we, we do it at the low temperature. That's why the cost is very lower compared with the other product. And the morphology is similar with the natural bond. The other products from the other company, they don't have the morphology as same as natural bond. So my calcium phosphate material can be easily absorbed by the natural bond, and we can make the bone healing faster. OK, that kept them quiet. Well Thank done. you very much. Bam. <laughs> Thank you. OK, well, fam. Takes his samples. Right. Please, everyone, a huge welcome for Yen, our final picture. Come on. <laughs> Waiting all that time. OK. So, our last Vietnamese picture. Judges, you ready? Pete's ready. Your slides are ready. Over to you, Yen. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Yen. I come from Southern Horticultural Research Institute, Sofri in Vietnam. Now, today I want to tell you about the $600 million food. And um, that is my product, that is the white restaurant food variety LD17. So, uh, my institute, we developed a new food cultivar. And uh, Sofri commercialized this in domestic and uh, international markets, producing new products on an 18 months cycle from an 11 year new product pipeline. And uh, in 2017, uh, Sofri shone right for a new red red variety that is outright for 220,000 uh, USD. Um, one of Sofri Protest Partners you a licensed model. Last year, BFR received uh, 17 million of the revenues from one variety of the kiwi food. Uh, in the future, Supri will move to the license in food variety rather than sell. So uh, now, uh, in uh, Vietnam, we exported only round root each year more than 1 billion USD. Uh, only way less round root, uh, we get uh, 600 million US each year. Now, uh, in Vietnam, we grow only uh, one variety for the white less variety. That is very, we grow many, many years ago in Vietnam. So that now is affected with the cancer disease. That the disease is very serious in Vietnam. So that we want to develop the, another variety. Uh, that is, uh, we want to replace the assisted variety. This, uh, we develop the new white less variety. That um, is so uh, resistant with the cancer disease. Also, it increases the food quality and uh, it can save like uh, longer store, up to 60 days compared to 25 days with the on variety. And uh, now, uh, this year we go into certificate and national IP and give license to company. And uh, if we give license after third year, we can get the Rosen And um, after that, we can transition from subsidy, subsidy to revenue, revenues. Uh, now, we embark to uh, growth, security, expertise, and job in decay as boss sector. And the arts, uh, we're looking for connection we need to connect with and learn from global players. And uh, we are looking for the key partner for license strategy and valuation and license agreement. 
Thank you for your attention. Well done. Okay, judges, please. So you've developed a new variety. I wanted to ask, how do you keep it protected? The intellectual property, or do you just keep it secret until you license it out? Now, we, uh, we, uh, we keep uh, secrets first, and after that, we have to give for the test variety. First, we want to rotate in the Vietnam. And after that, we look in for the partner to rotate in the international IP. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned a number of very positive points about your, your new variant of the fruit. Why would the farmer, though, want to plant it? I, I appreciate that the user will receive benefits, but why would the, why would the farmer be interested in selling it? Because now you know, in Vietnam we have the um, uh, wide less variety that very odd we grow many, many years ago in Vietnam. The farmer, uh, uh, many the, the orchards that is more than 10 years. So now it uh, infected with the um, canker disease. That the disease I say that is very serious in Vietnam now. They have to use uh, chemical to control this one. But for the exported, we, uh, if we use the, the uh, chemical that we cannot uh, export, so that we want to develop the new variety that is resistant with the disease. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, does it involve genetic modification? Yeah. I mean, in, in this country, for instance, GM foods are banned. So uh, what technique did you use to develop the... Uh, yeah, this uh, the variety we did develop by the traditional hybridization, and uh, after many many high risk, we select we screening with the canker disease, and we grow and we test with the canker disease in the field also. The, the other thing too is a lot of fruit gets spoilt in transport. Is this as good as the one it replaces? Um, does it get bruised more easily? Yep. It is as good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. I'll throw some around and find out. Uh, anyway, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge round of applause for our Vietnamese pictures. <laughs> Okay, can we also give an enormous round of applause for our judges? It's hard work. Well done, guys. Uh, perhaps I can thank, on behalf of the judges, all of you who presented in my native language. It mustn't be quite difficult, especially in this building. So, well done. Come on, thank you. Huge, huge round of applause there. Okay, so now, if I'm not mistaken, Hannah, it's lunchtime. Okay, great. So we're ahead of schedule, as we always are with this cohort. Um, if anybody would like to use a prayer room, if you go down to reception on the ground floor and turn left, the room at the end is available. Can I also please thank our film crew, Pete, our timekeeper, our AV support, and Gideon. Please, thank you very much to all of these people. Okay, dinner's served at 1.15 and lunch will be finished at 2.30. Thank you, everybody.